Well, the Election Commission has rushed additional troops to West Bengal. 100 additional troops moved to West Bengal ahead of the elections. Remember, this comes re as uh, recently the NIA team was attacked in East Mednipur uh, in West Bengal and earlier the Enforcement Directorate team was attacked in Sandesh Kali. Remember, the BJP as well has uh, demanded that central forces remain in Bengal for three months post the elections as well. A war of words on the law and order situation in Bengal has erupted uh, between the BJP and the TMC and is raging on with the BJP saying the TMC administration under Mamta Banerjee has failed to ensure safe polling in the state while the TMC alleges that the BJP is building a false narrative. My NDTV's senior managing editor Nikunj Gar tells us why this development is significant and my colleague Sora brings us the ground updates. Take a look. What does 100 company mean? Each company would have a strength, uh, at least the sanctioned or the authorized strength of 100 men. So that would mean 10,000 extra central paramilitary troopers. Even if we count the functional strength of a company to be 75 men, then it would mean 7,500 extra men on patrol in the, in the state of Bengal, in addition to 177 companies that were already deployed, which would take the total figure of uh, central paramilitary troops in the state of West Bengal for the peaceful passage of general elections 2024 to 277. In addition to this, this would be there would be a deployment from the state police force also because the state police force will certainly be playing an adjunct role to the uh, central paramilitary troops. So this is fairly massive deployment, uh, a kind of unprecedented or unrivaled security grid that you would not see anywhere else in the country. Having said that, one has to also say that the levels of violence in the West Bengal force, any kind of force there, historically have been unacceptable in a democracy. And I reiterate that, that those levels of violence are com completely unacceptable. I remember those days when uh, Ms. Mamta Banerjee was in her opposition and left parties were ruling, and Mr. P. Chidambaram was the Home Minister of the country. And even that point of time, Ms. Mamta Banerjee used to accuse center of adopting a lackadaisical approach in, try, in ensuring a free and fair passage of polls uh, by not adequately providing the central armed police forces. Now, of course, the central armed police forces have grown in numbers phenomenally in the last one decade or so, actually in the last 15 years or so. So the center and the election commission of India do have that additional elbow room available to them uh, in, through which they can provide additional central paramilitary components whenever required or whenever desired by the constitutional bodies like the Election Commission of India. So uh, neutral observers <coughs> would certainly see this as, a, as an exercise in keeping tempers calm, as an exercise in ensuring that there, are, there is free and fair polls. We have already seen uh, a slew of attacks on the teams of central, two, uh, central agencies like the National Investigating Agency or the Enforcement Directorate. Whether there was a provocation from the side of the law enforcement agency, that is the question that is still hanging in uh, the public domain and that will be answered in due course of time, uh, as is alleged by the TMC. But quite clearly, it reflects, it reflects that the tempers are frayed, tempers are running high and situation is indeed volatile. So in such a situation, additional deployment of central paramilitary troops would be seen as one way by the Election Commission of India, which is the constitutionally mandated body in this country to ensure free and fair passage of polls uh, uh, and, and, and certainly would not be taken kindly to by the ruling dispensation because the ruling dispensation in the state would say that this is some kind of an attempt to uh, gag the state apparatus, to limit the functionality of the state apparatus and bring into focus uh, something that is certainly not favorable to them, that is law and order situation in the state of West Bengal. So, and as I, and as I sort of says, that when tempers are afraid, uh, allegations do fly thick and fast. Trinamool has often in the past alleged that central forces are pushing voters to vote for the BJP. And uh, uh, on the other side, the BJP equally, equally forcefully maintains that uh, the state police forces are completely adjunct to the state, po state, state political masters and have been favoring only the ruling dispensation, be it the left earlier or now the uh, Trinamool Congress. So it, it, it's a keenly contested election and that is why this is a significant and dramatic development that we are reporting at this hour. There has obviously been multiple factors that have contributed to this decision and uh, one uh, can be, sh uh, you know, uh, cannot be sure which one is of course the primary reason. But 
it can fairly be summarized that obviously there has been uh, you know a, a, a couple of attacks on central agencies one the ed faced in chandesh khali on the 5th of january and then of course on the 6th of april on the nia in bhopati nagar that would be one of the contributing factors for sure but there are other reasons as well for example the election commission is looking at past history and obviously there is history of violence in west bengal elections and that is something that perhaps the election commission would have taken note of also what we've seen in the past few days are several requests for more central forces especially from the bjp uh, yesterday also we saw uh, shubhendu adhikari the leader of opposition and uh, you know one of the most prominent bjp leaders in the state visiting the special police observer who reports to the election commission and demanding that central forces not only are deployed in west bengal during the elections but also after the elections to ensure there is no post poll violence like the type the bjp had alleged in 2021 after the assembly elections where it claimed that many of its workers were attacked and uh, you know faced violence after the election victory of the Trinamool Congress so uh, that is one factor there is also uh, other intelligence reports that the election commission would have got also reports that it held also there were representations made by political parties uh, but the interesting thing to note is that some of these forces now that are being deployed the extra forces 100 companies or so as nikunj was explaining uh, also seem to have been transferred from Manipur uh, they were deployed in Manipur and now they're being moved to Bengal and uh, that is of course uh, in, uh, something to note as far as the deployment of central forces in West Bengal is concerned 100 extra companies of uh, CRPF and BSF apart from already what was deployed which is 177 companies of CRPF BSF and other present uh, CAPF like the CISF and the ITBP and the SSB all of those and including you know the GR uh, the railway police uh, so all of those uh, men would be involved in area domination exercises in West Bengal ahead of the general parliamentary elections 2024 like the election commission says Now there were dramatic scenes outside the election commission headquarters after a delegation of the Trinamool Congress met with the election commission and then sat on a dharna against what they say is the misuse of central agencies by the BJP led central government. They've demanded chiefs of four central investigation committees to be removed by the commission ahead of the election and even after they were forcibly removed by the police they demanded a level playing field and accused BJP leaders of hobnobbing with NIA officials. The TMC MPs in fact said that they're going to be holding a dharna inside the police station as well. In Kolkata, a TMC team led by Abhishek Banerjee met West Bengal governor over manhandling of Trinamool MPs in New Delhi. Now, uh, my colleague sort of reports, but first listen in to what the TMC and Amami party had to say. What happened today in broad daylight in Delhi is extremely painful and unfortunate. The way democracy has been muzzled, killed in broad daylight is for everyone to see this is bjp's new india 10 member from the trinamool delegation including five member of parliaments went to submit a submit a memorandum and a representation on how the central agencies are being used and those member of parliaments were dragged pushed shoved idi इनकम टैक्स सब सेंट्रल एजेंसी को बीजेपी का ब्रांच ऑफिस मानता है और वो सोचते हैं सच्ची में कि मोदी है तो मुमकिन है तो वो जो जी चाहे कर सकते इसीलिए अभी तो इलेक्शन कमीशन का जुरिस्टिक्शन में हम सब है मॉडल कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट चल रहा है फिर भी उन लोगों का मन मर्जी मोदी बाबू और अमित शाह का मन मर्जी बीजेपी का मन मर्जी एन आई ए सी बी आई ईडी और इनकम टैक्स चल रहा है और सब अपोजिशन को डिस्टर्ब कर रहा है ताकि वो ढंग से शांति से इलेक्शन ना लड़ सके क्या भारतीय जनता पार्टी को कनोट प्लेस में पकड़ा गया उनके नेताओं को उनको अरेस्ट किया गया उन पे मुकदमा बनाया गया इन पे क्यों बनाया गया और ये तो इलेक्शन कमीशन के बाहर बैठे वो तो कनोट प्लेस में बैठे हुए थे टेंट लगा के बैठे हुए थे माइक साउंड की परमिशन किसने दी उनको मैं पूछना चाहता हूं केंद्र सरकार से इलेक्शन कमीशन से 
ये प्योरली तानाशाही और गुंडागर्दी है ऑब्वियसली देर इज दू नो सेवरल you know issues that the trinamool has flagged and yesterday of course the trinamool congress's national general secretary abhishek banerji also flagged those issues uh, there are multiple uh, you know uh, sort of pleas that were made before the governor by this trinamool delegation that arrived at the raj bhavan at 9 o'clock and left well after 10 o'clock from the raj bhavan after meeting the governor in that late night meeting uh, where the tmc had sought an urgent appointment with the governor after Trinamool Congress MPs and members of Parliament in New Delhi were detained, manhandled, dragged to the Mandir Mark Police Station, where they spent the night, you know, in that dharna that we mentioned. And there is, of course, the statements of Derek O'Brien, the Trinamool's leader in the Rajya Sabha, Dola Sen, all are pointing out what happened there. Now, the other issue that the Trinamool flagged also is. questioning the election commission and the governor uh, abhishek banerji said had promised to take the matter up with the election commission and this pertains specifically to the nia now we are just learning in some breaking news that the west bengal uh, police have also sent a notice to nia officers to join the investigation uh, the two officers who have been sent that notice is of course one of the uh, you know uh, one is of course the complainant in the case and the nia officer who sustained minor injuries uh, in in on on saturday when that nia team went to bhopati nagar but beyond that uh, what we know is that the trinamool congress has made a specific allegation against the nia they allege that a bjp leader met an nia officer at his private residence when the model code of conduct was already in force after the announcement of elections they also say that the bjp leader handed over a list of names to the nia uh, and the, that these people should be picked up uh, and this the trinamool claims is to clear the ground so to speak in uh, you know uh, in gaming terms uh, for uh, the bjp ahead of elections and that is something that uh, the trinamool says they have evidence of and they've uh, provided a copy of uh, you know the visitors log book etc jitendra tiwari the bjp leader has completely denied the charges and said that he would uh, file defamation cases abhishek banerji challenged him to file a defamation case and also challenge uh, the nia uh, to disprove what the trinamool congress was claiming now in these claims and counter claims of course you also have that dharna taking place the trinamool congress strongly objecting to the way in which his mps were treated but saying that they will continue this fight so obviously this is going to be something that we will see a political showdown over in the days to come as well in this context of what we are seeing as a uh, you know uh, showdown between the trinamool congress and the bjp